Today I'm going to be talking about the uh, Lush products in their Lush Kitchen menu for the week of June 20th through June 24th, that's next week. And the Lush Kitchen has a lot of great things to offer uh, next week. What they did was they uh, allowed us to vote for our favorite uh, Lush Kitchen products that they've made in the past couple of years and so they picked the ones that got the most votes and those are the products those are the 10 products that they're going to be making next week so I'll describe them to you and and review them and such so on Monday they're going to be having Twilight Shower Gel and the Enchanter Bath Bomb now the Twilight Shower Gel is the same fragrance as the Twilight Bath Bomb and it's a dark purple shower gel with silver shimmery sparkles in it and it's got two different kinds of lavender and tonka which tonka is kind of like a vanilla bean it's kind of caramely kind of vanillary in a way and so it's kind of like a creamy lightly sweet herby lavender blend that helps for sleep and um, it's gorgeous and I'm so glad the Lush Kitchen is going to be making more because as you can see I am running out of this bottle so I have a demo and review video uh, where I show the Lush Twilight shower gel close up so you can see it here on my YouTube channel and here's the link for that. Also on Monday is the Enchanter Bath Bomb. The Enchanter Bath Bomb. Here is uh, an Enchanter Bath Bomb. And Lush made this bath bomb in the same fragrance as their Colacus uh, shower gel and Colacus jelly. Lush has made three bath bombs with the Colacus scent. Calavera, Skulldudgery, and the Enchanter. And um, the Lush Kitchen Enchanters aren't as vivid color and aren't as foamy as the original Enchanter Bath Bombs, but they're still gorgeous. If you want to see what the original Enchanter Bath Bomb looked like in the tub, go to YouTube and to a channel called Flamingo Blush, all one word. She has an, a demo of Enchanter that will blow your mind. So um, even though it's a little tiny bit different, it still smells absolutely gorgeous. This smell, I don't know what it is about the Colacus scent, but it stays on my skin long after I've taken a bath, which I love. It's got lime and frankincense, alibinum, and neroli. And so it's kind of a perfumey, resinous, citrus scent. And uh, they made this for Halloween, for Dia de los Muertos, where we have Calacas. And so it makes a beautiful pink and orange colored foam in the water. It's a somewhat slow fizzer. It's kind of between a fast fizzer and a slow fizzer in my opinion. Um, the last time the Lush Kitchen made these, I bought four of them. I put them here, and, and this is in my bedroom. And when I woke up every morning, I would smell that lovely Kalaka scent wafting. And when I went to sleep every night, I smelled that lovely Kalaka scent also. So it's really great. Um, some people were saying that this kind of uh, stained their uh, bathtub not permanently but you know they had to kind of wipe do a little work to wipe it off here's something that a lush president had uh, told us customers on their forum many years ago uh, when you're filling up the bathtub you squeeze a little squeeze of any shower gel and then when it fills up you can put the bath bomb in and what the shower gel does is it kind of breaks the surface tension of the water a little bit and keeps that color from staining so much on your bathtub it makes it easier to clean so 
That's the Enchanter bath bomb. On Tuesday, we have Big Calm Jelly and Space Girl bath bomb. I don't have a Big Calm Jelly because I gave it away during my last giveaway. Here's a picture of mine. They call it Big Calm because that's another name for the ocean. And it does look like the ocean. It's got a two-toned blue kind of swirly color. And it's made with real pineapple and real coconut and real orange. So it doesn't smell like, you know, like a pina colada. It doesn't smell like fake pineapple and coconut as we know it. It smells like real pineapple and coconut. And it's somewhat softening. And so while it's not my favorite Lush Jelly, um, I would give it a three or three and a half uh, out of five rating. And then Space Girl also on Tuesday. Oh, I was so excited. So Space Girl, let's discontinued Space Girl bath bomb from their stores a couple of years ago. It looks like a little planet Saturn. And the smell of this is so wonderful. It's got grapefruit in it and bergamot. And the Lush, uh, the Lush magazine says that it smells black currenty is what it says. So it while the ingredients list doesn't show that there's black currant in it, maybe the perfume ingredient has black currant in it. And it does smell black currenty to me, which is why I love it. Now uh, Lush uses black currant in the comforter. That's the primary scent in the comforter is black currant. So you can see why I like Space Girl. And it's so cool. It leaves on the bottom of the tub, it leaves these kind of red comet looking colored things, which is really cool. It has gorgeous shimmery glitter inside of it. The smell is gorgeous. It does color it a really sort of nice sort of dusky, dusky pinkish purple. So love this scent, love Space Girl. I'm gonna try and get as many as I can. I would rate Space Girl a four and a half out of five rating. And on Wednesday, we've got American Cream Body Lotion and Mumpkin Bubble Bar. Now, American Cream Body Lotion was made uh, in the same fragrance as the Lush American Cream Hair Conditioner. Um, people liked American Cream hair conditioner scent so much that they begged Lush to make a limited edition body lotion of the same scent. And the scent is vanilla, sage, and lavender. So it's kind of a slightly sweet, creamy vanilla with just a slight pop of herbs in it. Really nice. And so Here's the consistency of mine. I hope you can see it here. You can see it forms peaks, but yet it moves around. So this is what I would call sort of medium thick. It's not runny, but it's not, um, it's not nice and real thick. Uh, it's just kind of medium. So hopefully the Lush Kitchen will make the uh, consistency like this or even thicker. So. I give American Cream Body Lotion a three and a half out of five. And then Mumpkin and the fresh ones from the Lush UK Kitchen are so vividly pink red bright. They're, they look like my lipstick. They're so cute. And here's the picture of mine that I took uh, a while back. I also have a demo video and review of the Mumpkin Bubble Bar here on my YouTube channel as well, and here's the link to that. Now, Mumpkin was made in the scent of Lush's Easter soap called Egg Hunt Soap, and Lush also made a bath oil reel recently called Razzle Dazzle, and that is also the same scent as the Mumpkin Bubble Bar. Now, Mumpkin has um, it smells raspberry-ish, and it's made with violet and bergamot, and there may or may not be any raspberry in it, I'm not sure, but it's the cutest 
bubble bar ever. As you can see in my demo video, it makes the water a gorgeous color. It smells great. It's so cute. I would give this a five out of five rating. And on Thursday, we've got Supernova Bath Bomb and Colacus Shower Gel. Now, Supernova Bath Bomb was made in the same scent as the Lush Celebrate fragrance. Um, during Christmas, Lush makes a body lotion and a jelly called Celebrate. And that is what the Supernova Bath Bomb smells like. It's got grapefruit oil, orange oil, and cognac. And it smells very citrusy and bubbly and fizzy and light. And um, it, here's a picture of the original one I had a long time ago. And so if you like that champagne snow showers or celebrate scent, you'll love Supernova. It used to be called Champagne Supernova because it was made in the champagne snow shower scent. But there's a song called Champagne Supernova, so I'm thinking maybe Lush doesn't call it that anymore. They just call it Supernova. It's got confetti, colored confetti in the water. So, you know, there's little bits of paper streamers in the water. So if you like it, it's fun. If you don't, just pick them out. <laughs> I would give Supernova, you know, a three out of five. It's not one of my favorite bath bombs. I, you know, uh, the Celebrate Champagne Snow Shower scent is not one of my favorite favorite scents you know it's like eh, maybe because I've been using it for the last 15 years and like 20 different products there's just loads of other lush products that I like the scent of better and then also on Thursday we have Colacus shower gel here's the Colacus shower gel and the Colacus shower gel is so cool it's the only shower gel I know of that is three different colors I don't know how they do it it's some kind of you know, woo, kind of, <laughs> it's really cool. Um, this is made, of course, in the Kalaka scent, which is lime, frankincense, and neroli. And I believe this one also has some agave syrup in it. Let's check. Aloe vera gel, lime oil, olibanum, which is frankincense, neroli, and this is suitable for vegans. And sometimes it looks green, sometimes it looks um, orange, and sometimes it looks yellow, which is really cool. And those three colors are the colors of Kalakas. Their bath bombs, their jellies, their shower gels have all been in the yellow, orange, and green scent. At one time, uh, Lush sold this only in a green color, but now it's three different colors. So, very popular. The scent of this, like I say, is sort of a perfumey, resinous, citrusy lime scent and it's very fragrant and the scent of the frankincense stays on my skin for a long time after I've used it which is gorgeous. So I would rate Kalakas a 5 out of 5 rating. So uh, even though I have one here I'm going to try to get another one or two. And then on Friday we have Sonic Death Monkey and Magic Bath Bomb. Now Sonic Death Monkey, I've gotten so many questions about Sonic Death Monkey on my Instagram account, on my YouTube, on my blog, on my Facebook account to please demo Sonic Death Monkey. So I finally did a demo of Sonic Death Monkey Shower Gel. It's here on my YouTube channel. I show it being used. I show it up close. I show myself using it to wash my hands with it the shower, etc. Sonic Death Monkey is a band that was in a movie uh, many years ago and it's got coffee and lime and chocolate and hemp oil and it smells an orange oil too sorry and it smells sweet it's very sweet and sort of like a cocoa and orange it smells like sweet cocoa and orange primarily and the coffee and the lime are just little hints of it in the background so um, Lush made a buttercream in the Sonic Death Monkey scent and they call it Heavenly Bodies. And so if you have the Heavenly Bodies buttercream from the Lush Kitchen, you know what the Sonic Death Monkey shower gel smells like. And I like Sonic Death Monkey. It's not my favorite chocolate shower gel from Lush because there is another uh, chocolate shower gel named 13 Rabbits that I like more. But, um, but I like this. I like the scent of it. And so I would rate Sonic Death Monkey, mm, 
maybe a three and a half or four out of five, depending on my mood. And then Magic Bath Bomb on Friday. You guys know I love the Magic Bath Bomb. I have a demo video here on my YouTube channel that's very popular of the Magic Bath Bomb and what it looks like in the tub, etc. Now, lots of uh, love-hate things with the Magic Bath Bomb. I'm gonna try again. I try so hard to tell you what Magic Bath Bomb smells like because some people get so disappointed in the scent. Now. It's got loads of rose in it, roses, fresh roses. Like you go outside and you smell roses on a rose bush, that kind of real rose smell, not grandma rose perfume smell, but lovely pink roses smell. And then it's got a load of different kinds of herbs in it from your garden. So you know how herbs smell, like lavender and rosemary and those little herbs that you use for cooking. So. That's what it smells like, roses and herbs. And it's called magic. The herbs in it have some magical properties. And the color though is so mind blowing. It starts off with a gorgeous color of blue. It's like a, a, a bright sort of sky blue, turquoisey blue. And then as it fizzes a little bit more, the water turns to a darker blue, it's like an indigo blue, and then as it fizzes a little bit more, out comes purple. And the bath water that you're left with is the most glorious color. <laughs> the scent of this magic bath bomb is so strong, very strong. So if you don't like herbs, don't get this bath bomb because you will be disappointed. Um, however, for those of you who don't mind, you know, parsley and sage and rosemary and whatnot, then, and roses, you get one, get one, get two, get three. I don't care. Try to get as many as you can. Um, I'm going to be trying to get as many as I can. I have a picture of the Lush Magic Bath Bomb in the Lush Wiki. And I also have a picture of it in my blog, lushalot.com. And here's the link to my video where you can see what this gorgeous thing looks like in the tubs. I would give Magic Bath Bomb a 5 out of 5. And so that's it uh, for the Lush Kitchen menu of products for the week of June 20th through June 24th, 2016. So my favorites for the week would be Space Girl Bath Bomb and Mumpkin Bubble Bar and Magic Bath Bomb and also Twilight Shower Gel and Kalaka Shower Gel. So those are my favorites for the week. And so if you have any questions about any of these products, go ahead and comment uh, down below and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. If you enjoyed this video, please like my video by giving me a thumbs up down there and also subscribe to my channel and that way you'll be notified whenever I do upload a new video, which lately has been every day I upload a new Lush demo video. And also subscribing to my channel will make you eligible for my uh, future giveaways that I do here on my YouTube channel on a regular basis for my subscribers only. And as always, thank you for watching and we'll talk to you on the next video.